these broken water mains are still being repaired this morning. Yeah, and that means the boil water advisory for Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, that's still in effect. Our Casey Lund is live this morning with the latest. What's going on, Casey? Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. And we're not at that latest water main break, the one from yesterday late morning. This is the most significant one. And I do want to take you along here. You can see a little bit difficult to see the pipe, but you can see uh, that massive, massive hole that they've dug to try and repair. That's the crews on scene here this morning, beginning their work today. Uh, we want to get you right to the latest updates for the thousands of community members who are still under that boil water advisory. We want to start with the good news. The Army says they've lifted the boil water advisory for the Alia Manu military reservation as well as Red Hill, but that's not the case for thousands of folks that are on Navy property. They are still advised to boil their water for drinking or cooking with. And as you can imagine, getting ready for work in school, that is a real hassle. Uh, this water main fiasco has also forced the closure of schools and child development centers, but an update, Iroquois Point Elementary will reopen today. We aren't aware of any other schools that are closed. Still, those 11 child development centers that serve thousands of kids will remain closed except for one up in Wahiawa. Though Joint Base Commander Captain Mark Sohaney says he's working on a plan to reopen at least one more but ask for patience in the meantime. I do have a plan on Wednesday to potentially open up one CDC for absolute mission essential personnel. So we're reaching out to the commands and scrubbing the list to see if there's a need. We're going to do this at the, you know, the speed of safety. And I, I wish I could communicate at the speed of light. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I can only get on a couple times a day. But I just want to take this day by day. This again is the fourth main break since Friday, impacting service for some 93,000 users. Military leaders said in a 6 p.m. update yesterday that they aren't hearing of any more flooding, but they're asking residents to report that when it happens. Crews have been relieving pressure, pressure excuse me, by opening those fire hydrants around the base. The commander also reluctant to give us a specific timeline for completion of repairs, but said it is still likely between seven and 10 days. The Navy is also asking that if you experience water issues, you let them know by calling that number that you saw on the screen. There's also going to be another update at 1230 today. Of course, we'll bring you that live on Hawaii News Now. For now, we'll send things back to Stephen Grace. All right. Thank you, Casey.